<laughs> oh shit. That's Sukamoto. Fucking crazy. Her and her wild antics. Anyways, video topics. A couple things I wanted to talk about. Was bored. Figured why not make a random fucking video blog. Three topics I want to talk about. Number one, Psycho Sam. A hardcore rapper from California. Never heard of him. Teenage white boy rapper. Um, his lyrics are very dark. Uh, I guess I could compare him to ICP and Twisted, I guess. Boondocks and Blaze, whoop whoop. Um, I'm pretty sure they were his influences as well. Um, apparently, it seems that he killed four people. And his lyrics in his song, they weren't just entertainment. He really did kill four people. I'm going to post the link to the news story, the Associated Press uh, news clip. Check it out. Let me know what people think. Uh, mountain of evidence against the guy. If anybody ever heard of him. You know, let me know, because I just heard about this guy a couple days ago when I stumbled upon this news story. Recent news story. So yeah, Psycho Sam, like I said, sucks for you, dude. Really sucks. You're going to be going to jail. I mean, he lo he reminds me of like trench coat mafia, kind of like the, the Columbine kids. You know what I'm saying? Big black, big blacks, baggy jeans, you know, painted hair. He's just, I mean, hey, the guy fucked up. You know what I'm saying? His song that I favorited, uh, it was pretty good. I guess uh, you could check out the link to the song. It, it was alright if, you, if you're into horrorcore rapper. Horrorcore rapper. Um, now, second thing I want to talk about. Woody, the Norteño rapper from California. Antioch. Antioch, California. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm from New Jersey. I, I live in New Jersey over here, so if anybody can tell me how to pronounce it. <clears throat> And is anybody from Antioch, California, where Woody was born and raised at? That's the Bay Area, Northern Cali. A lot of people ask me about this. A lot of my Norteño and Mexican subscribers. What are my thoughts on Woody? I recently found out about Woody. I found out about Woody when he allegedly killed himself. Self-inflicted gun wound. That's the key word. Allegedly self-inflicted gun wound. So he allegedly killed, killed himself at a hotel in Oregon and it was a big deal over the message boards and cpixel.com and shit like that and I heard this guy you know some of his songs are pretty you know I like the beat I like that west coast gangster shit I'm very diverse universal with my music that's where you see I listen to west coast 90s 80s Japanese you people know the deal already uh, Woody from what I know of him Ryan Mitchell Wood he grew up, you know, in the ghettos, you know what I'm saying? He grew up on the streets of California. A lot, you know, got involved in the gang life. Lost a lot of his friends, his close ones to um, the the streets. That's why a lot of his music to, um, has a darker musical tone to it. Took a dark musical direction. Um, as far as him killing himself, allegedly, could be he had a lot of stress on his head. Um, from what I heard, it was because his wife, his girl ex-girlfriend slash excuse me his girlfriend slash soon-to-be wife she got into a car accident and that kind of like stressed him out got him sad and he killed himself or maybe his enemies got him and it made it look like it was a suicide you know um he had a lot of enemies woody you know he was a norteño what do you think you know sureño is going to be coming after him um woody like i said he's a white boy norteño rapper i used to they, they used to look funny to me, so I used to think differently, like, a uh, white boy Norteño, you know? But from what I, you know, know, from what I know about him through his music, I mean, hey, you know, he, he, he he's down. I'm saying he, he, he keeps it real with his shit. He's down for his Norteño shit, so I gotta give him respect for that. You know, he's down for, for his clique, his hood. So as far as Woody, you know, never knew the guy, don't know too much about him, so if somebody can recommend some of his songs, you know, because I favorited one song, you might want to check it out, my favorites. Uh, yeah, rest in peace, Woody. I'm saying he spoke up against corruption in law enforcement um, later on in his uh, music uh, years. And yeah, rest in peace, Woody. You know, don't know much about you, but hey, fill me in, people, my subscribers. Now, third topic, Hell Girl, Jigoku Shoujo. Great fucking anime. Just started watching this series. It's three seasons. Jigoku Shoujo is Japanese for Hell Girl. Um break it down for you real quick I'm not gonna ruin it for you give you a little taste check out the trailer to, to the news story and the, uh, the trailer for the anime check out the links trailer for the anime um, every night the, the story 
every night around midnight um, a certain website can be accessed and when you access his website at midnight right in the search engine in the search engine bar you type in the name of the person that you want dead that you want revenge on and the hell girl aka Jigoku Shoujo will come and kill that person for you will come and torture that person and then take that person straight to hell but be careful once you make that covenant that pact with hell girl when it's time for you to die you have to go to hell too you, you won't die right away but when it's time for you to die you will never know the joys of heaven you'll go straight to hell and be tortured yourself twisted, ad twisted anime uh, it's a horror anime so you might check it out I highly recommend it it's three seasons you know what I'm saying don't get confused um, they got the first season box it out for $38 Hell Girl, check it out. I love this anime. Currently watching it. Fucking awesome. I will compare it. It's almost like Death Note. Remember Death Note was with the, was with the fucking notebook? This is with a computer. You know, it's real, real good. You gotta check it out. That's all to my anime fans, my anime lovers. Alright, people, so peace out.